Hey guys, it's Hogan here. And today in this video, I just wanted to show you guys quickly how to add in an email opt-in form anywhere on your website or your blog if you're using the Themeify themes. So for example, if you wanna add an email opt-in on your blog post on the bottom or on the sidebar or literally anywhere on your website, then I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to do it in this video. So let's jump into this video right now. Okay, so what we need to do first is to link the email provider with our website before we can actually display it. So we can hover over Themify Ultra, click on Themify Settings, and we can scroll down to Integration API, and then click on Opt-in. And then here we can connect it with MailChimp or GetResponse or whichever email provider. So for example, we can go to MailChimp, and then we can click over here on the top, click on Profile, and we just need to get the API key. So click on Extra, and then API Keys, and then scroll down, copy the key to your clipboard, come back over here and just paste that in and click on save. Okay, so that's connected MailChimp. Now let's say for example, you wanna connect uh, GetResponse, then we can go over on the top over here. So generally that's gonna show and then click on integrations API. And then you just need to click on API over here and then just copy that to your clipboard. Let's come back to GetResponse and just paste that in like that and click on save. So once that is connected up, then we can go back to our homepage and we can display our email opt-in. So let's turn on our builder. And then what we can do is we can display it. So we can scroll down to the bottom and let's say we're gonna display it down here. Let's just drag in the opt-in form, just like that. And we can display it just like that, All right? So you can also select the opt-in provider as well as the list. So if you've got like different sort of category blog posts, like for example, if you're doing like fitness category and then you might have like a making money category you might have two different lists so you could obviously create two different types of opt-in forms with two different lists right so here we can set in the layout and things like that but i do want to show you guys um, a more efficient way of sort of doing it and that's by using the layout parts so that we don't have to sort of um, recreate it or add it in every single time so I'm just gonna delete this for now, but that's just like the simple and easy way of doing it if you just wanna add it onto your homepage. And then you can just go to styling on the back over here, and then you can change the sort of colors and things like that. So you would just click on done, and then you could drag in your text module on top, and then you could do like subscribe for the latest. Okay, so you could change this to let's say, heading two and then move this into the middle and then that would be done. So if that's all you want, then that's all good. Click on done and I'm just gonna delete it for now and then I'm going to show you guys the other way. So let's click on save and let's close it. Then what we wanna do is let's go back to dashboard and go to Themify Ultra and then go to layout parts. Okay, so we can create a layout part and then we can literally just display that layout part anywhere on our website. So it's gonna be a lot better in my opinion, especially if you have like blog post and you wanna display it onto your blog post. So let's click on add new. And we're gonna create a new layout part. So let's just name this one email, opt-in. And we're gonna click on publish. Okay, and then we can just click on the permalink over here. Now, sometimes if it's different, then you might need to find the permalink. You might be on the right-hand side. Okay, so we can click on the link and here we're on the front end. So we can um, use the front end builder to recreate the opt-in form that we like. So let's just drag in the opt-in form into the row, drop it in, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the layout to horizontal. And I'm just showing you guys, um, just give you guys some ideas of how I would do it, okay? So let's just delete this one, first name, and let's put the placeholder as name. I'm going to delete, actually hide the last name um, as well. Delete the last name and then delete this one as well. And then just put in email as the placeholder because I think that just saves a lot of space and just makes things look better. So for the submit button, you can change it to like sign up or anything that you guys want. You can also add in your button icon. And then here for the success action, action sorry, uh, we could do, let's say subscribe Oops, maybe like thank you for subscribing, sorry. So thank you for subscribing. And then we can edit the styling over here, change it to bold and maybe center it as well. 
Okay, I'm gonna change it to um, white. So let's say for example, click on toggle, change the color to white. Okay, because I'm gonna make the color, the background a dark color. So I'm gonna change the color white here. So then we're gonna click on done. Okay, so what we're gonna do for styling, um, what we're gonna do is hover over here and then you're gonna see this little dot, this orange dot, and that's gonna be styling the column. Okay, so I'm gonna click onto that, click on background, change the background color to a dark gray. So maybe like a three, yeah, something like a three, 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 like that. And then what we're gonna do is scroll down to padding. Okay, so I'm gonna add some spacing around our opt-in form to make it look a lot more professional. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on padding and you can select all, okay? And then we can do like 30. Okay, so that might not be enough. Let's just try like 50, I think, yeah, 50 looks pretty good. So then what we could do is maybe, I might make it a little bit lighter actually. It's a little bit too dark. Yeah, something like that's fine. And then I'm gonna click into the opt-in form because I wanna style the look of the input field. So click on styling over here, general, input fields, and I'm gonna remove this slight border on that. So let's click on border, click on all, and then I'm gonna set this to none. Okay, so it's gonna remove this little border um, on that uh, input field. So you can also change the style of the input fields as well, but I'm not gonna do that. Let's just click on save. And I might actually change the button. So click on here, subscribe button. Let's change the background color to the pink. Okay, and for the hover color, I'm gonna change it to the same one, same pink, but make it a little bit darker, all right? So people know that, you know, that's a button and they can click on it. Let's click on save. Okay, so what we can do is add like a text on top over here, and then we can do the same thing. So subscribe for the latest news and updates. So you could do that, or you could do like subscribe to get my free ebook or anything like that. And then you could do, let's just change this to heading two first. And let's change the font to a white color like that. And maybe you can hover over here and then you can see that blue. Let's just add a little bit of padding to that to maybe, yeah, 10 pixels. Then what we can do is align it into the middle. Okay, so that looks a lot better. And then let's say if you wanna add like um, like a subscribe for a free ebook, you can do done. And then you can add like an image in there. Okay, so let's just say for example, this is a picture of an ebook. Okay, that's a little bit too big, right? So I'm gonna change the width to maybe 100. Click there. Okay, so something like that. And then we can change it to image center. Okay, and then that could be like an ebook, right? But I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna delete it. So we're gonna click on save. Now, if we change the mobile settings, okay? So if we actually set it on mobile, then because this opt-in form is like really, really wide, it's not gonna sort of fit properly. Um, so what we wanna do is we wanna create a mobile specific opt-in form um, layout. So let's just change it back to the desktop, okay? Let's just duplicate it. So we've got two versions, okay? So let's click on the second version uh, let's click on the edit and then I'm going to change it to the block layout. Okay. So it stacks, you know, the name and then email and then subscribe. So then on mobile, it's going to fit properly. Okay. Like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go back over here. We just need to set in the visibility settings. So let's go to here visibility. So this one's the first one on top and I want to remove it from mobile. Okay. So for mobile, it's not going to display. Then I want to click on the second one the second opt-in form, click on the eye visibility, and I wanna display it only for mobile. So I'm gonna delete or hide the rest, okay? Let's click on save. So now that we've got two versions, um, opt-in forms, so that it's gonna be super mobile responsive. So what we can do is click on the back end over here, okay? So if you do click on close, then it's going to not show, right? Um, how to actually get back. So, so what we can do is click on turn on the builder and then we just click on backend and that's gonna take us back to where we're gonna copy the short code, right? So you can also navigate there by going to layout parts as well. Um, but here it's just easier. Let's just copy that to our clipboard, copy. Then what we could do is themify ultra, themify settings. And let's open up a new tab and then let's go to the hook content, okay? 
So let's say for example, we go to a blog post. Okay, so we've got this one over here and click into that blog post. So we've got basically um, this blog post over here and let's say we wanna have the opt-in form down here, right? So obviously you can create like an opt-in form for each blog post, but that's not very efficient. So what we're gonna do is go back over here and go to hook content and then we can click on add item. And then just paste in the layout part, so the layout part short code, and then we can set where we want it to display. So, so you can click on the C hook locations first to figure out where you want it to display. So we need to click into, let's say the blog post, click into that first. And then we can scroll down to over here. Okay, so let's say we want it on the bottom. So we can do post end, right? So let's go back by clicking on the outside over here. Click on, scroll down to post and then post end. And then you can set also the conditions. So like I said before, when I was talking about if you sort of have two different opt-in forms, you might set in a condition to, um, to only show in specific categories, right? So you might have two different um, layout parts and then you could set it to display on a certain category only, right? So we don't need that for now. Um, we can just click on save, right? Then let's go back over here and we can refresh it. Okay, so that's looking really awesome, right? So we've got the subscribe and this is gonna appear on all the blog posts. So if you click on this one over here, then we can scroll down and then it's gonna appear here as well. So the great thing about Themify is that you can just click on turn on builder and you can just edit how it looks um, directly um, on your page rather than going to the layout parts again. So let's click on the column styling again and then let's click on corners. So I just wanna select this one all and then I'm gonna set it to, let's say 20. Okay, so that's gonna make it a little bit rounded and I think that looks a little bit better. Click on done. You can also add some shadow as well. Um, if you do wanna add some shadow, like let's do one, one, and then blur, maybe let's do a five spread. It's gonna be a zero. And then here we can do a gray color and then drop the opacity down to maybe, yeah, 0 0.3, like that, and then click on done. Save it, and then let's close it. Scroll down. Okay, so that looks really, really professional. So if we resize the screen, then it's gonna show like that on mobile, okay? So let's just close that. And if you wanna display it on your sidebar section, then what we can do is we should go and create a new sort of layout part to display there. So let's just head back to our dashboard. Let's go to the layout parts. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this. Okay, so duplicate this one. And then I'm gonna click on edit. And then here I might just change it to like email opt-in, oops, sidebar, okay. Let's click on update. And then let's click on the link again. So I just wanna show you guys um, how I would do it. Click on turn on builder. And now we don't really need the this one on top. So let's just delete that one, okay? Let's just keep that one because the sidebar is gonna be really skinny and we can't fit that other layout. So we need to use this one over here. So let's click on the visibility settings and make sure that's all showing. Okay, because we set the visibility settings before and we sort of just duplicated it and that's going to retain. So we can done on that one and then we can also go to the row over here and then hover over the three dots, click on save and then we can also save that row. So it could be like um, email opt-in, something like that and save it as a row and then we can use that row to sort of um, add anywhere on our website as well. Okay, so we're gonna click on save and then we can, let's click on backend. Then what we can do is we can go and copy this short code, copy that. And then we can go to the, where are we gonna go? So we're gonna go back to the appearance, click on the widgets. And then here, okay, we can drag in a layout part. So here, click it and drag it and drag it into the sidebar, okay? And then here for the layout part, we're gonna select the email opt-in for the sidebar and click on save. 
and it is done. Okay, really simple. Um, let's head back and visit our site. Let's click into a blog post. Scroll down, and then we've got the email opt-in over here. That is a little bit too squished, um, so we can turn the builder to um, make the padding a little bit sort of thinner. So let's go and hover over there. As you can see, it's like 49. Let's just drag it out to, let's say, 20. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Save it. Let's click on close. Let's scroll down, have a look again. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Maybe I might make the padding like 25, but you guys can do that. Um, and same thing for over here, that's looking really good as well. All right, so I think the layout parts is really cool and as well as the hook um, content because you can really just do a lot of different things with it. For example, you could add like um, different banner ads anywhere on your website or add content anywhere where you can't sort of use the builder to add in. Okay, so if you have any questions, drop it in the comment section down below. Um, hopefully I didn't go too fast because I did want to just make a really quick video to show you guys and give you some different ideas of how to actually do it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video.